Hi guys, Matt Williams back today on the vlog just uh, very quickly. I've got to change all the brake pads on my road bike so I just thought I'd do a quick video because I know a lot of people are um, quite scared to get involved and do any maintenance on the bike and if you're not confident then yeah, you know, feel free to obviously take it to a bike shop but um, hopefully you know you can buy the pads, put them on, do it properly and uh, it, it, it's a five or ten minute job and, uh, and it'll save you, you know, 10 or 15 quid getting them put on at the bike shop. So um, yeah, I do, I'm just gonna do one of the front brakes first, a bit annoyingly on my bike, you have to drop the wheel out um, to get the, and take the pad off to get the, the insert out. Um, but on most bikes, you can just leave it on. Um, and on the back one, I'll show you how I do that as well, but you can uh, you can do that with the wheel in place. So yeah, I hope it's useful. Um, as always, when you've seen it, feel free to rate, comment and subscribe, and uh, let us know if you've got any ideas for other videos you wanna see. Cheers guys. All right guys, so just um, looking at replacing the the brake blocks on my bike, the um, just gonna do the front ones first. A bit annoyingly on my bike, you have to remove the actual wheel um, and take the brake pad itself and the, uh, the holder off because it doesn't clear the back. But um, what you can do on a lot of bikes is just put a two and a half mil uh, Allen key into the back and do the uh, the screw at the back of the pad doesn't need to come all the way out but it's a bit easier if you do take it all the way out and that pops out and then the pad just slides out backwards um, but as I say on mine unfortunately you have to just take the wheel out pop the pad off pop the uh, pad itself but that's fairly simple Keep all the bits, and there you go. That's the pad off. And as I say, it's just a case then of sliding the uh, the old pad out backwards, the warm pad. Get rid of that one. Get the new one. Make sure that you've got it facing forward. And uh, on these, you can see it says left, so we know it's in the correct one. So make sure you get those the right way around. Slide it in, and that's all the way forward, nicely seated. Take the uh, retaining bolt. Just carefully screw that back up. Again, doesn't need to be super tight because it just sits in the groove inside the brake pad. But uh, yeah, just tight enough so it doesn't wobble out. There we go, so that's nipped up. Pad all back together. Pop it back on. Facing forward as it should be. Now this screw I'm not going to screw up too tight because I just want it to stay on for now because you're going to have to adjust it up and down to suit the wheel when you put it on. So that's it, nice and simple, sort of, you know, 60 second job. Just to do the same on the other side and then on the back and we're job, uh, job done. Okay guys, just um, quickly to add to the other one, onto the back wheel, this one I can do with the wheel still in place. So, um, just show you how quick you can do this. Again, two and a half miller in the back. I'll just pop it out because it's easier. And reach in, that one just pushes nicely out. Can't quite warn that one as well. Grab the other one. Again, make sure you get them the right way around. Um, these ones I've got left and right written on them, you can probably see. And they tell you which way to uh, put them in forwards as well. So, just grab the right one. There's the forwards. Slide them in. That's in nicely, nicely aligned. Pop the screw back in. Tighten them up. Again, not too tight because it's just going to cause you dramas later on when you try and get it out. So there we go. That's nicely uh, tightened up. Nice old gap there as well. And that's it. So hopefully that saves you sort of, you know, a £15 uh, trip to the bike shop. And as you can see, you can change all your all your pads in sort of five minutes or so and, uh, and stay safe. Cheers, guys. Bye.